Good morning, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man. Reading from our daily bread in the Song of Solemn, chapter 2, verses 12. The flowers appear on the earth. The time of the singing of the birds is come, and the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. Dear God, my grandfather always used to say that nature was his church. He was a church-going man, but he felt closest to you when he worked in the woods. I didn't understand that when I was a child, but I understand it now. I have my best conversations with you then when I am in nature. Nature's beauty is a blom, and my heart becomes quiet and receptive. Oh, God, every day there is a blessing in the earth you made. If I am willing to look for your presence in nature... I know the last couple of our daily reds has been coming from the Song of Solemn, and they are saying up at the top, flowers appear on the earth for it's a time of singing, then that's when we know the birds are come, and the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. So there is different seasons that is going on in the earth. We have here in Michigan, our weather has been back and forth crazy. I mean, it's been almost uh, like 80 degrees in March when typically it's below zero. And ever since then, it's just been like warm outside, hot outside. Like today, it looks like it's going to be really hot. Yesterday, it was 54 degrees. So typically, we're able to tell due to the signs and wonders what season we're in, when the birds come back out and the flowers flowers uh, begin to appear on the earth so again that song of solemn it just has very beautiful quotations and very beautiful compliments towards the lord and towards solemn's wife down in the reading he said dear god my grandfather always used to stand nature he said nature was his church the person is also saying when they're out in nature they're able to hear god more and they're more receptive to the information that the lord is giving them There is a beautiful pleasure in being outside. We do need to be outside more. Um, Just enjoying the presence of God. Just enjoying those beautiful things that he created. Because the world does speak to us. Um, And let's not get that screwed with what people have going on out here now. Like, oh, the universe this, the universe that. The Lord uses the universe as a form of communication. He tells us that we will receive signs and wonders from the universe, from the world. But the difference between the universe and God is that the universe is the creation. So, yes, he does communicate through that. But people begin to worship that. So if the Lord sends somebody a sign through a tree, <laughs> like a burning bush, or the Lord sends somebody a sign through like, you know, maybe a bird. If he send a bird and the bird is humming. And that bird brings peace. Then some people, they are out here and they would be worshiping the bird. Like they would be praising the bird, praying that that same bird come back and speak to them tomorrow. So that's the difference between people praying to God in the universe. Um, They're going to worship the creation. They're going to worship the signs and wonders that they get instead of worshiping the creator. But nature is a beautiful thing. I remember the Lord talks about in Revelation how when in um, the Garden of Eden, the enemy was trying to, um, when he was trying to kill the woman in the Garden of Eden. And the and the Lord said that the world opened up her mouth and she helped the woman and moved her to another location in the garden where she could have her children and she can live longer than she was supposed to. So we know that the world do give us information, but we're not supposed to use that as serving the Lord. This person is saying when they go out in nature, they're able to feel the presence of God. They're able to receive information and just be more at peace, which I 100% agree with. Um, Me personally, I do need to go outside. Going outside is beneficial to all skin types um, because that sun gives us the benefits that we need, just like our food. Our food that we call healthy, like our fruits and vegetables, they are healthy because they're planted deep within the ground. So they're getting the nutrition from the soil and then the deeper parts of the world. And then on top of that, they have the sun beaming. They're going through different seasons. So that plant is being able to withstand those different seasons. That plant is able to fight um, the different insects that might be trying to fight off that plant. So this is why it's healthy for us, because it comes from the ground, which were we were 
were created. And then also those plants are getting the nutrients from the sun. So we are a plant as well. We were created from the ground and we should eat the meat thereof, which is the herbs that comes from the ground. And then also we need to be outside getting that sun as well, getting our nutrition, just walking around, getting that fresh air. We are human, so we do deserve that. Going outside is good for hair, skin, nails, overall peace and hearing from God. Um, so when you get time, I encourage you to read the Song of Solemn, chapter 2, verses 12. And this summer, because it's almost here, plan to be outside more with your family. I love you and God bless you.